Ooh, look at that big load. So I stopped at Casey's here to get some coffee. Of course. I need to get this load of straw bales to the horse ranch to sell. All right, let's get to it. going around here make sure I don't hit their overhang don't want to be one of them uh, people on YouTube all right so we're gonna haul this to the horse ranch should still have a few more loads of bales we gotta haul before we get started on our day so got another load of bales 26 large six foot round bales just driving by our little lot here Huh. wonder why Austin hasn't came and picked up his truck yet. That's a little weird. I think you would need that. Alright, let's... We are selling these at the horse ranch. So, they're giving us a fairly good deal. We make about $10,000 per load selling them there. So, we got another load of bales on the back of us here. Twenty-six. Just driving easily through the field here. So we still got one more load. But after that, we that another trailer load should be able to get it though. Alright, so we're just strapping these last nine bales on here. Uh, let's see. So I'm trying to figure out how many round bales I got so I did three loads of 26 so that's what 78 plus these nine so that is 87 round bales so fairly good yield obviously we only bailed half the field so probably would have made pretty good if we bailed the whole field but lost some of the straw or it got rained on so it wasn't really that good to uh, bail up anyways we'll get these sold and get back to our lot all right so we're parking the truck back over here again we'll leave it parked right out here just because we have like no room so I did wash up the 4960 on the baler so now I'll, I need to take the 4960 down to Platte Valley. We bought a 30-foot uh, disc from Buck. Pick that up. So let's get this thing parked. Of course, 4960. John Deere's always start up. Unless they have a bad battery. That's the only excuse they have. No other excuse will John Deere have. We're just backing this up. I'm going to put this between the buildings here. We are packed in like sardines over here. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to remedy, remedy that over the winter. But right now we're kind of taxed out with work, so... Unhook that. All right. So let's get to the dealership. So we are pulling over here to Platte Valley. Don't know exactly where our disc is. We'll see here. Oh, uh, looks like it's right over in front there. We'll get that hooked up. Brand new John Deere disc there. Looking pretty. Back up over here. Hook that up.
we are ready to go. So, you're probably thinking, how are you going to pull that disc without the duels on? So, I really don't want to put the duels back on the 4960 because I still want to use it to bail more. And that would just be a lot of work taking on and off. We really need to get this field started disking so we can plant our waterways and everything in it. But I have a plan in place. So we're going to leave this parked right here. Unhook it. There we go. I'm going to go... You're probably like, what tractor are you going to use? I got a plan. I got a plan. Because... 4960 right now is my biggest tractor. So it pushes out about 240 horsepower because it's chipped. It can easily pull that disc. But uh, you may have a bigger horsepower tractor on the way. Park that in there. All right, so they said they were about on their way. Let's see. So uh, while I'm waiting for our surprise to get here, I have been complaining about these fences or the gates here for a while. I've been wanting to get them. They have these nasty bars in the center of them, which just makes it too much of a hassle with our big farm equipment going in and out. So I decided I'm going to start tearing these out because our new gates are in and we will put them in. So let's get these tore out finally. There we go. There's one of them now. Now we just have to get the other side done. And we got the other side done there. So let's see, make sure these gates will open up. Look at that. I love how they swing open really wide. Look at that. All that clearance. No bars in the center of them. So nice. So let's get this uh, bobcat put away. We don't need it right now. And just got a call and they are on the way. They should be pulling up anytime. Looks like they're pulling up right now. Yes, you see it. It's a Agco. To me, it just looks like a different painted uh, Massey Ferguson, but we'll see if it's any different or not. Check this bad boy out. It's a DT220 Agco tractor. So, the dealer allowed us he saw our video and said hey you guys want to use demo that tractor and of course i was up for it it worked out great for my farm as the time right now i'm kind of down a tractor need a tractor on the disc and that's a good opportunity tillage is a great opportunity to test out this tractor i wasn't going to tell him i think this is probably too expensive for our our wallet right now at least so mm, probably there's a very slim slim chance we could afford this but it's a good tractor and of course you know if they're gonna allow me to use the tractor for tillage keep the wear and tear and keep me from putting the duels back on the 4960 of course I'm all for it so let's get help get this uh, off the trailer the truck just lowered the trailer let's see how this thing starts course like a glove easy peasy I, I do like how everything is just right at your hands very easy controls nothing too confusing there uh, all the buttons seem self-explanatory. Doesn't take us no time whatsoever to drive this tractor. 
my CVT transmission. Should be nice pulling this uh, for tillage. Let's get this disc hooked up. All right, so we're headed to the field pulling our disc. So it looks like we've got a display down there. I'm pretty sure this has GPS too. So that'll be good for us in the field. A lot less uh, wear and tear on our neck and uh, eyes while we've got GPS in the field. get this unfolded here and we will start disking so we're gonna disk the outskirts here so this is a big field we got to do uh, as I said I'm going to cut this field up at least into two separate fields maybe even more don't know for sure yet so we're going here man am I really liking this tractor so the RPMs run at a really low weight uh, the transmission so easy to use just forward and back all the controls are basically simple stupid so really easy for me really easy to learn the hydraulics are really responsive the turn radius is unreal on this thing so this is a nice tractor it's just too bad we probably won't be able to afford a tractor like this but thank you to the ACO company for letting me demo this man is it nice it's amazing how much you can see uh, you could easily see the front tires so if you were doing uh, any uh, row crop application you could easily do that in this tractor there's you obviously you have the exhaust and the def exhaust on that side but on this side you barely have any just restriction in your view you got the forward uh, the little uh, uh, sunroof there so very nice tractor so we're still around here doing the in rows of this field so just so we can have an easier time turning around man is this field big not sure the exact acres on this field I'll probably have to look it up but it is gigantic like I said, I'm going to plan on splitting this up. I may think about even putting it into three separate fields with water rays. There's a few uh, high points that I need to consider. I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. Uh, there's definitely a few hills, and it's... So I'll probably start uh, looking at the terrain map before I uh, start planting the waterways. But this thing is so nice riding in this air suspension cab. Just so easily driving along here. No difficulty whatsoever. Even though we did make some ruts in this field, hardly even feel them in this cab and this seat. So nice. Looks like Buck over here started harvesting his corn so that's good he was able to get in the field over there if you don't know buck also farms so and works at the dealership like a lot of farmers do they can't make all their bread money just by farming so some people are blessed just to be able to be full-time farmers. Some people have to work a full-time job and farm.
So we're just disking along here. Just have one little sliver left. Oh, man. Who left a bale out here? That couldn't be me. Some other farmer had to put that bale in my field. I don't miss bales in my field. Who does that? So we're going to have to disc around that bale there. This is the last little sliver we have on this field. Except the one sitting around the bale we have to come back and pick up. So we'll get this. So we used all the hours up on this demo. So I know this is a... Uh, I believe DT means Department of Transportation Echo. If we ended up purchasing this, I would want to paint it back to the Agco normal colors. Don't know if I like the orange too much. Probably get too many uh, looks in the field and questions asked. But pretty good tractor, I think. Great tractor, great suspension, great turning, great hydraulics, but way too much money for us right now. So we will get this parked back at our uh, dealership and now we have to get to mowing our grass. We're driving this uh, 4960 over. So I'm going to use this on the mower just because I don't want to use that uh, 4020. Alright, so we're going to start mowing right here. See how this thing is going. Don't have access to the land. Oh, there we go. Don't know why it's saying that. We'll mow around here quickly. It's a good thing about these mowers, you can get a lot done in a little bit of time. That's why we put the 4960 for these hills and all that. It's probably a little bit too much for that uh, 4020, even though it's a John Deere. This uh, 4960 will handle it, not get bogged down near as much. These big hills are having problems with the side swing mower. This is a pretty big field right here. So this will take some time mowing and get a lot of grass off this field. That's for sure. There we go. So we're just mowing around here. So I swing around at the end just so I can uh, not have to drive into the non-mowed part of the grass. This grass is almost waist high, so we're getting a huge yield off of this. So we'll have a pretty productive day today. We've got this started mowing here. Don't know if I'll finish it today. And we got our field disc. So we only had the Ackle tractor for 12 hours of demo, and that basically that field took the whole entire 12 hours. That field is gigantic. So now I gotta figure out what I'm going to do about a a planter. I need a a drill. I know uh, Jake has one, or I'll have to purchase one. Maybe I can borrow Jake's. Hopefully. I have to ask, but I know his is kind of small, and that will definitely take some hours putting in if we use his drill. Going around here, so this is where the uh, wheels fail to grab along the this hillside here. It's all right. We don't need to get every blade of grass. That's for sure. Love the look of the fall leaves in the air. So this will be our only and last cutting of hay here, so... So 
we're still going along here. So hopefully my wife made me a big portion for supper tonight because man did we do a lot of work. Of course all that was kind of in a tractor cab but still that still is exhausting while you're doing all this stuff. So your neck's always moving getting bounced around. This tractor, you know, it rides pretty good, but it, it doesn't have near the ride as that uh, Atco tractor does. Hopefully I can finish this field, have this field done before it gets dark. Uh, that way, got my uh, field disc up too, so it'd be a huge production day for me. just have the last little bit here probably have to come back and do one final stretch swing this guy around really like these uh, three-point hitch mowers here you can really turn sharp with them all right pick that mower up shut it off Fold it up. We are done with this field. Of course, we're going to leave it hitched on because we have a few more fields to do. We'll leave this parked right here for the night. So we just got done eating supper. And I just love the smell of fresh cut grass right at dusk. Man, does it smell good miss this smell so thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time